Hello and welcome to Stocks Advisor channel, here at our channel we are looking for interesting buy opportunities for US based stocks. In today's episode we will talk about Microvision Incorporated, traded at Nasdaq, Tick and Envis. Well, uh, Envis was already long term growing, very nice stock actually, if you look at its half year performance, it's made almost, well actually more than 10 times, so almost 10 times depending how approximately you start looking. So you see uh, this overall price action, not a trend of course, is enormous. So the level of growth is big and still it looks like it has a trend to grow further because if you look at overall indicators they are kind of accelerative so to understand this and how to trade here let's do a quick analysis for microvision uh, first of all as always at our daily charts we have three moving averages depicted here on the left you see their legends being moving average 20 50 and 200 green blue and red line correspondingly so here you have them depicted and first of all, if we look at them, what do we see? Uh, after having a period of deceleration that took until mid of January here, it changed to uh, acceleration growth. And now what we see already starting uh, from, let's say, second half of January, February, the uh, moving average 20 is going up with acceleration. So its second derivative is positive, meaning it's bending upwards. Mm while moving averages 20 and 200 are still linearly growing so there is no acceleration uh, neither deceleration but they are growing up so and the fact that moving average 20 is going that fast it still indicates that we can have uh, further growth or at least uh, after some rebounds or let's say some pullback uh, we can go further and this is not really a pullback kind of uh, correction but just a wave reconfirmation we will talk about it now another important parameter is RSI okay now it's of course overbought it's higher than uh, 70 being currently uh, 76.69 uh, and uh, if you look at the current uh, candle which was traded today it's still big body candle but also it has upwards and downward shadow so it could be either volatility infection point or just an indication before the further growth. We need to appreciate both situations here and if further growth will start with the candles with shadows. Usually it means that still next candle will inter intersect with current one. So there is a chance to buy in. If it will go, uh, let's say correction or pullback, it won't be that big because it either should be uh, just waiting for moving average 20 to pick up with the price section. So it either will be flagging. Even if it goes a little bit further, there is a very well shallonated zones, which we will discuss now. So uh, overall stock is very nice with immediate buy um, indication. And if you look at um, MACD behavior, well, here, of course, you see we started the second wave with immediately a uh, very fast uh, action price. And uh, this also indicated and caused actually the MACD histogram suddenly jump. And if you look here, you can see that together uh, with jump, what is possible, it still might make uh, further growth, but then should correct because it's quite high. Although we saw examples it going even higher. So it's still a stock that might surprise us. Uh, but we also don't need to forget two things. First of all, the differences between moving averages is already too high. So there is a lot of uh, space for correction that is possible. We don't need to forget it. So at least this size overall from moving average 200 to moving average 20 in the current price section. And of course, overall, don't need to forget the, uh, let's say, the, the um, growth that we did show for the ha last half year. It's also enormous. So if pullback starts, we need to be prepared for uh, careful averaging down, but we will be prepared and we will now discuss how to do it. So with this all being said, of course, still, since moving average 20 and other parameters are very accelerative at the moment, we don't want to uh, miss possible uh, entry opportunities here. Therefore, it's advised to buy already within the current candle size and actually up to uh, the um, the support level which we can see here this would be a uh, support level uh, s1 in our case so let's write it s1 and then if you would think of uh, the price section it would be actually between so entry would be between uh, 8 around uh, 845 to uh, current price of the candle the body of the candle uh, 1033 so within this uh, let's say uh, range you can already enter here although it's quite big range of course 
you can say almost 15%, but yeah, and this stock is known to, to do a lot of volatility, so the ranges are also big. So here you can slowly start entering, and this would be our first entry opportunity. If we restart from here, uh, then you can, of course, uh, make a profit. And speaking of profits, we often keep saying at our channel, our profit target is always 10 to 15%. 10% for slowly moving and 15 for fastly moving, very volatile, let's say, uh, charts like this one, for example. That's the target. Please, uh, always when you watch to our analysis and want to use it, this is the target we advise. Once you have your por portfolio profit like this, exit, watch other videos, check another opportunities, check another re-entries. Because it's very important to be consistently trading positively rather than trying to become rich from one trade. Uh, of course, it's nice to have stocks like this when you go uh, 10 times in a couple of months, but you can never catch them, you can never predict them, you can only see them like a posteriori, so you cannot prior see them. So don't forget this and uh, be consistent traders, so develop the strategy rather than playing casino. So being this said, uh, let's continue further looking uh, another entry opportunities if we start correcting move. And of course, if this is happening, we need to be prepared for another levels. And then the nearest level is just uh, the level uh, which is here clearly obviously seen. This would be just before now, before moving average uh, 50. But by that time, it will be within moving average 50 because it will also grow slightly. And then it will make it a double support. So these levels, uh, let's call them uh, S2 and S3. And now we'll write how to play. So this would be S2 and as three levels and then your entry will be if you want to play here on those levels it will be between 5.5 and uh, 650 so again quite big uh, range to enter try to catch it somewhere in the middle if you go those levels but this would be second circle uh, to enter and it will be very strong double support because by that time as i said moving average 20 will 50 will be in the middle and we will be already historically on a very strong channel here. Should we decline further, this would mean that we go really for correcting correction mood uh, below moving average uh, 50, which is a major correction. And then, of course, uh, giving the price decline, uh, you can say, well, it will be quite a lot. Yes, this might happen only with negative catalyst here because it's still too strong. But again, we always discuss those kind of doomsday opportunities. We need to be prepared for this and just need to be extremely patient because you can see the price from the prior if negative catalyst uh, plays off could really plunder and uh, go really really low and of course then the entry positions would be uh, here and by that time also moving average 200 will approach that, that channel size so it will be again double support that's what i like about these supports they all we, we try to provide provide double supports so it will be this area to enter. Uh, let's call it, therefore, it will be uh, S4, S5. So S4 being level here and S5 being this level. And then think, uh, saying of, let's say, the price, this would be uh, actually something between $3 to uh, about three sixty-five. So this would be the third circle. Of course, the ranges are quite high. You can see it's almost three times, but then we are also prepared with our strategy to play here. It will be five portions play, meaning that uh, in first one you buy actually with one, let's say, portion. Then second circle you buy with two portions and in uh, third one you buy again with two. What does it mean? So money you would like to play here, you, you split in five portions. Then in the first circle when you buy, you buy with one portion. Then you wait again very patiently. Don't bet with the entire portfolio. Don't play casino, but trade smartly. So in the second circle, should we decline for healthy correction, this will be another two portions. If we decline again, but mainly based on some negative catalyst, just be very patient. Know there is a super strong channel to average down again. You do it again two times, I mean with two portions, and then it will be this play here. And this is, let's say, the, the numerical representation. And if you like more schematic one, then of course you can look here according to these entry positions. So this way it will be the best optimization of profit versus loss. And always we keep saying this at our channel, once you have 10 to 15% profit, take it, don't be too greedy, don't stay too long, 
consistently trade positively. If you trade 10% positively each trade each month, you will make two times at least one and a half time uh, profit a year. It's a lot. Believe me, even super famous traders don't do that much. And all these stories that you can make 300 upside down, 100 upside down. Yes, this is nice, of course, like here you can have it, but try to catch it before it goes. Usually you see all these nice moves a posteriori. Again, this is purely casino. So don't try it. Be trader, be consistent. With this being said, good luck with the stock envies. And again, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you didn't do so already. By the way, you can also find us at social medias like Facebook and Instagram. And you can try our free mobile application named also Stocks Advisor. Momentarily only for Android devices, but in February and somewhere on this month, it should also be available for iOS systems as well. So good luck with those. Let's stay connected and see you at another episode of Stocks Advisor channel.